So we're still on 3E part 3 and this time we're not actually going to do anything to do with a macro or uh, getting anything to work in access. We're just going to have a look at understanding the process that needs to take place. So it says when the button is pressed, the following should happen. We need to check if the instructor is available, check if the car is available and check if the learner is available. So we look at this date, we look at this time and then we check whether the instructor, the car or the learner are available. So we'll have a look at uh, these flow charts here. This first one is going to be about if they're all OK. All right, so at the end, it's going to say if more than one of the above are not available. So if they're not available, we'll put error messages. But if they are OK, OK, then a confirmation message will be displayed and the lesson should be booked. So at the end of this whole process, we're going to ask this question, are all factors available for the lesson? If they're not, we're not going to book it. If they are all available, we'll need to confirm that the lesson is booked. So that's the message and add the lesson record to the lesson table. That will be using our append query. So we have here our append query here the confirmation message. So it's a nice simple thing at the end that says if everything's OK, confirm, book the lesson. But before we do that, we need to find out if everything is actually OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to have a look at each one of these things like learner, car and instructor. And we're going to have this happen. Is the learner available? If the learner is not available, we need an error message. Then we need to ask ourselves the same question for the instructor. Is the instructor available? If they're not, an error message. And the same question for the car. Is the car available? If not, an error message. And we're going to end up with something that looks like this. So we're going to start the process. Ask, is the instructor available? If no, display an error message. Now, because we need to display all three error messages, if any one of if if more of them are unavailable, or we might need to display two of the error messages, we need to keep asking these questions. So even if an instructor isn't available, we don't go straight to the end and say we can't do the booking. We then have to say, go along this route say is the car available if the car is not available we also do the car not available error message then we go to the next stage is the learner available if the learner is not available we do the learner not available error message but in the opposite way if the instructor is available we don't display an error message we just go down the yes route straight to asking is the car available if that's available, we go straight down the yes route, is the learner available? If the learner's not available, we display the learner not available error message and move on. So each three of these things work in the same way. It's all about displaying the error message if one of them is not available. And then at the end, we have this question that says, are all the factors available for a lesson? If they were, we go through the booking process. If they weren't, we finished because we've already displayed the three error messages. The question is, though, how do we know if all the factors are available for the lesson? How do we know if these were available? Because we just went down this yes route, but we don't actually know if they're all available. Well, what we can do is we can use a flag or what we call a variable. So this different option here starts off by setting this flag or this variable to be yes. So it sets a variable called lesson available to be yes. So it says that unless anything goes wrong, then the lesson will be available. It's going to be possible to book it. And if we go through all the yes routes, so is instructor available? Yes. Is car available? Yes. Is learner available? Yes. Then we get to this question. Is the lesson available? 
And what we do is we use this where it says set lesson available, yes, that's still yes. So we say, is the lesson available? If it's yes, then we go down the yes route. So if lesson available is yes, we follow this yes route. If it's no, we follow the no route. So now we look at, well, how did we know when it was no? Well, what we do is each time somebody's not available or something's not available, we set this flag, this variable called lesson available to be no. So it doesn't matter whether one of them's unavailable or more of them are unavailable. If any one of them are unavailable, it will set that flag, that variable to be no. So it will go, is instructor available? display the message, set the variable to no. And then when we get down to here, it will say, is lesson available equal to yes? Well, it won't be because it was set to no. So we follow the no route. And that means it won't book the lesson. So that's what we're going to do with the macro. We're going to set a flag. We're going to have three if blocks. If instructor available, if car available, if learner available, and then if, okay, everything's okay, book the lesson. If not, finish. So the next tutorial will actually take you through the process of creating this macro.